<gasps> oh, what happened? Oh, it's felt like I've been doing nothing but plush videos for a year. What, what was I even gonna review anyway? Ah! No, not you. We're not doing you. Never. No. What's up guys, Penguin CJP here, and reviews are back! I'm not gonna make them super frequently, but you know, it's a new year, 2021, so I thought it was finally time to bring reviews back. Now, I know what you're thinking. Penguin CJP, the heck is a Super Mario Manga Mania? Well, you see, in Japan, there's a long-running manga called Super Mario Kun. Uh, sorry if I butchered that. Uh, which is a manga about, well, Mario. And it is created by Yu-Gi-Oh! So Yu Sawadi, not Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I hope I didn't butcher that, but I did already, so, you know. And, yeah, a long-running Super Mario manga that is still going on today. I think the current arc they're on is Luigi's Mansion 3, which, that's actually really cool. Um... And this is a best of collection of uh, Super Mario Kun stories. This is the very first Super Mario Kun thing we have gotten in the West, which is extremely, extremely cool. Features stories based on the hit Super Mario games. From crazy to classic, Mario and his friends star in adventures and find themselves traveling through the many worlds of one of the biggest video game series ever. And on the back, you got Peach, Luigi, Yoshi, Bowser, and the little toad coming out of the warp pipe. So, like I said, this is a best of collection of different stories from the different arcs in the manga. You have a story from the original Paper Mario on N64. You have three from Mario Sunshine, two from Super Paper Mario, one from Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, one from Mario Galaxy, and one from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Then there is an original story at the very end, which is actually like a really, really good story that I will talk about. Uh, the rest of the stories I don't really want to go into because... The series is mainly a gag manga. It's mainly based around jokes. Yes, you know, it, it's still based on the Mario games, and Mario and crew still go on their adventures, but it's less about the actual adventure and more about making jokes along the way from the adventure. So I don't really want to spoil that. But I did want to talk about some cool changes they made to turn certain things from the games into stories. Like, uh, one of the Mario Sunshine stories is the Gooper Blooper boss fight, where they changed it from just being a random squid and uh, Rico Harbor to being this mom of these bloopers, and she was being mind-controlled, so Mario had to help her, and it was actually pretty cool. Another cool one was... Uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where they took the Iggy boss fight and they had Yoshi befriend his Chain Chomp before they fought and they used that to be Iggy. It was actually pretty cool, but yeah, most of the stuff in here is gags. A lot of it's visual and pun gags and... Some of them work, you know, but... Uh, some of them are just for Japanese to get, like, for the Japanese language, so they don't really translate that well, but you know what? That is okay. I still found them to be extremely entertaining. Now, the one story that I did really want to talk about, the original story, is called Super Mari Old. This story takes place in the future of the Mario series, where Mario's been missing for about a month. So, 
Uh, Toad goes up, finds Luigi, and tells him that Peach has been kidnapped again. So Luigi gets ready to set out, but he wants to know where Mario is. And Yoshi comes up and he tells Luigi he knows where Mario is. So they go to where he is and he's in the hospital. And they find Mario and he looks all depressed. So they tell him that Peach has been kidnapped and he doesn't really react. And Luigi tells him, you'd normally do like a goofy gag and say, come on, let's go. We gotta go find Peach. And he just says, no, I'm not into gags anymore, Luigi. I don't want to go adventuring either. I'm getting too old for all of this. I'm, I'm just not feeling it anymore. So, you know, Luigi and Yoshi start getting depressed too. But then Dr. Mario shows up. Dr. Mario gives Mario some good old life medicine and tells him that, yeah, times are obviously going to be tough and you're not going to want to be happy-go-lucky all the time and do what you love to do every single day. But sometimes doing those gags, having goofy fun experiences and remembering the good old days, they can help you with situations like that. And they can help keep you happy. And that's really what we all should do in times like that. Try to keep ourselves in high spirits, remember the good times, and just keep on going. And that's what happens. Mario goes back to his normal self. Dr. Mario is actually him 25 years in the future, showing that the future is going to be okay. The future is bright. You get through this. And then he goes back, and then Mario goes out to save Peach. I think that's an amazing story. It is a very well-done story that I would argue is worth getting this just to, just to read that. It's so good. So, I would like to talk about the characters in this manga. So, this manga has different interpretations of the Super Mario characters. And I do really like uh, these new interpretations. So, of course, we gotta start off with our main man, Mario. So, you know, in the games, Mario is usually portrayed as the extremely righteous, he's the hero, the one that everyone has to look up to, he's happy almost all the time, he will save Peach and help people without a second thought, that's just the dude he is. Uh, but then you have some portrayals, like in Mario Power Tennis, where we can see that he's kind of a jerk to Luigi at times, you know, like, yeah, even though he is the good dude who kind of gets everything, he still kind of wants more, like when Luigi wins um, a cup, and then Mario comes up to congratulate him, but then he also steps on his foot, like, this, this is my victory, Luigi. I should have won this. It's just like that. And I think that is, um, you know, that's an interesting take on Mario. And they kind of bring that over into the Mario Kun manga, where Mario is not, like, the almighty epic hero like he is in a lot of the games. Mario's kind of a jerk in this manga. Like, if someone's asking for help and he doesn't really think it's worth actually doing anything, he's not going to help them. Like, he has to have a reason to help people uh, in this manga. Like, um, one of the enemies in Mario Sunshine is asking him for help, and he doesn't help them until, uh, the enemy says that he has an extremely cute sister. Like, and that's what gets Mario to help him. Like, and I think that's, that's interesting. And Mario, also, he is, like, the gag character. He's the one that does most of the puns. Luigi does some, Bowser does some... But it's mainly Mario, and unlike Goggles in the Splatoon manga, where he's just kind of dumb, and that's just kind of, you know, that's just kind of why he does it, it's clear, especially uh, from Super Mario Old, it's clear that Mario does the gags on purpose. He's not an idiot, he just likes doing gags, he's just a goofy guy, and I think that's really neat. 
Luigi. Luigi is very similar to his actual game counterpart. I couldn't I couldn't find a, a whole lot of differences. Uh, to be honest, he didn't seem as much of a scaredy cat. Like, in Mario and Luigi, the Mario and Luigi games, they always portray Luigi as the scaredy cat that doesn't want to help. He's just, like, way too, too much of a fraidy cat. Um, and they show some signs of him still kind of being afraid in this manga, too, but he's definitely not as afraid. Uh, at, at least in this book, again, this is just a best of, so he, he might be more scared in the actual series, I don't know. Viz, please give us the rest of the series. That would be amazing. Um, and then the last character we'll talk about is Yoshi. Because uh, since this is a best of, there aren't really like Peach and Bowser, even though they are featured on the back here. Peach, Bowser, and this Toad. They don't show up in a lot of the stories. Luigi and Yoshi show up the most. Yoshi, I guess because this came out when Mario World was, um, you know, Mario World came out, because that was the first arc. So Yoshi talks, because Yoshi talked in that game. And yeah, he, he talks. And Yoshi is mainly played as the straight man character in this series, which is, which is very... Interesting, you know, you wouldn't think that Yoshi would be the straight man, but he normally is he normally calls Mario out on his crap and He's normally the one that always gets punished a lot of the time um, But yeah, this is again, that's a very interesting take on Yoshi and um, Yeah, I just I think it's cool the different interpretations they have of certain characters. I like Bowser in this series. Um, again, you know, I don't... You don't get to see a whole lot, but I like Bowser. Uh, I wish you did get to see more Peach. I liked what we got to see of Baby Mario, Baby Luigi. Uh, Flood was kind of funny. You know, there, there's a lot... There's a lot that this manga has in it. And I just wish we do get the rest of the series, just so we could experience more of that. Now, if we can just look, look at this art for a second. So, the interesting thing, the, the one thing you gotta know about me, and uh, manga art, especially, I love uh, simple art styles, like uh, like this. I, I don't know what it is about these simple, bigger eyes and the chibier looking bodies and designs like that, but I just love this style. So even though it's not like the main Mario style, I still really like it. I think it is extremely cool. So yes. Super Mario Manga Mania. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you are a Mario fan and you have played the games that are in this book, or even if you haven't played all the games in, that are in this book, I would still highly recommend it. You know, this isn't the serious Mario manga that I think we all kind of want at some point, you know? Something like the Sonic Archie slash IDW comics. But still, for what this is, I think it's really good. It's very charming. And again, that Super Mario old story, it really did kind of hit, hit me in the heartstrings a little bit. It was, it was so good. And especially for this price, this book is only like 10 bucks. So please, go get it. Read it. Tell Viz that we want more Super Mario Kun. That we want the, the whole series translated. Because I would love to read the rest of this series in English. Uh, I'm, I'm even thinking about getting the other volumes in Japanese. And if I do, I will review those at some point. But there you have it, guys. 
Hope you like this return to the reviews, trying out a new format, seeing how it works. Uh, tell me what you think down in the comments. And this is Penguin CJP signing out. <laughs>